Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. This is your extended for the reading from this morning. And I just realized that I did not mention today I'm grateful giveaway. Um, if you want to be part of this giveaway, just write down in the comments section what you are grateful for today and start the sentence out. It has to start with today I am grateful for and then fill in the blank, okay? And if you put an explanation, well, it doesn't give you anything extra for the giveaway, but it does make you realize why you're grateful for what you just mentioned. And that elevates your vibration higher, makes you manifest better, so I highly recommend it. Okay, I usually put in my two cents of what I am grateful for. So what am I grateful for today? Uh, what have I been grateful for today? I have been grateful for being here with you. Being able to do these readings, being able to get uh, dreams, to interpret dreams from my spirits. Um, I was not very good with dreams. I didn't have dreams and yet here I've dreamt two days in a row. And uh, why am I grateful for it? Because it provides me an extra tool from which I can tap into to give even better messages to you. And I feel I see you walk in light after I'm done with these. When I do these videos, I see you clicking off and walking away with lightness of being and light in your heart. And I feel good when I think that way, okay? So it's a, it's a give and take for me, okay? That's what I'm grateful for today. Okay, so your turn, and then you get entered for a giveaway that I will be doing at the beginning of May. If you want to support me, it's all in the description box below. I have PayPal, I have Patreon, I have affiliate links, so you go for it, okay? All right, so let's continue. Let's see. Spirit has my ears well blocked, so yeah, here we go, here we go. What are we talking about here, Spirit? What do you want to add now? What would you like to say? We're going on a voyage. Well, that's not that's not surprising, especially with the message we got this morning. Um, and this isn't a voyage of um, this isn't the voyage. Regardless what this says, this isn't like traveling, traveling. This is the voyage. This is the internal journey. Okay. Um, it right here just popped up in my face. This card indicates that no matter what your journey is and where it takes you, you have protectors at your side. This is again saying you're not alone. You may feel alone or you may not even be, you may not even realize that you have somebody with you <laughs> or that you're going anywhere, but you always are. Okay. That's the ultimate goal when we come here. It would be kind of redundant if we came here and stood still. Okay. It doesn't really happen. Okay. And it says, um, it says it might, you're going on a journey and it could be an inner sojourn or it could be a, a, a voyage. You know, it could be like at one point when we're able to move with all the work we've been done, some of us may actually get up and move out of our current circumstances into, uh, you know, a different place. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. It's just, it's, it's kind of a little bit, you know, restrictive right now, if you think about it that way. Okay, I just find that if you want to travel and go somewhere else, these are the perfect times to get ready to do that. Okay, so um, it might be a project or an idea that's coming to life, and it could be your spiritual life coming to life. Okay, um, but most definitely you're traveling. Okay, sallying forth into the unknown. Lays, where do you want to go? What have you always wanted to do or be? Okay, this is the time to make it happen. Get prepared. That's what I just said. Prepare, right? Have a clear vision of what you want to experience uh, and be prepared for the unexpected, right? It's part of the exhilaration of being that intrepid traveler. Remember to enjoy the journey as much as reaching the destination. I like this. So it's telling you, enjoy it, okay? Pisces, enjoy enjoy it. I know we've had this weeks before, but they're bringing it back up again, okay? They're bringing it back to the surface here. So I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to take uh, Wisdom of the Oracle. All right. Go for it, Spirit. Okay. 
You have the floor as always. It's so funny because we call these cards the divination tool. I, I think that's not just the cards, it's the tool. I think I'm the tool. I think the cards are the tool, but I am definitely the tool. I am the, the loudspeaker in which they are talking through. Serendipity. One plus eight is nine. Nine is divine. So it's serendipitous, okay? It might be things that feel... You go, hmm, that's peculiar. That that kind of happened in, you know, in tandem. Things are things are happening together. What's going on here? Okay. And as you guys know, I like I love nine. So eighteen. Uh, opportunity allied with readiness, right? Getting ready. Right. The awareness of synchronicity. Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols. Magical alignment of events. Right. So they're saying now that you've done the work, now that you've released, remember this morning the release card and the recovery card, the discovery card, okay, things are going to start moving in the right direction. And they always say that, okay. We've had this message before. It isn't the first time. But maybe with the work that you've been doing, things have been changing. And they want you to know that things have been changing. Okay? We're going to use the Magical Herb Oracle. For that. Oh, it is so, it is Brahmi 22, master number 22. Focus. Okay. So they're saying now it's time to take this and focus. Okay. Do what you're supposed to. Now, move it up. Okay. It says the potential's there, but a more refined focus and greater thought is required. Okay, it says a breakthrough is indicated, but you'll need to be open to it. And also understand it may not be exactly what you're looking for. Again, with the unexpected, okay? So they're telling you, now that you've done the work, be ready for the unexpected. Things may pop up all of a sudden, okay? Uh, be open to any possibilities, inspiration, new ideas, understanding, and also new communication should be forthcoming. I'm remembering the page, the page of pentacles this morning that we had, okay? This is also about that, okay? Don't take anything at face value at the moment as you need to uncover the truth and question and explore deeper. Education, again, with the apprentice, that page of pentacles, okay? Learning new skills, page of pentacles, that require mental application. And gaining greater wisdom are all energies that are pres present. So, right, they're telling you now that you've recovered. Remember? Release, recovery, discovery, discovery, recovery. This is, this is a stage that uh, they're talking about a lot about recovering and discovering where you need to go and what you need to do. Right, 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 right. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going here. So this is their tips and tricks and all of that stuff that they need to uh, pass on to you, their Pisces, okay? So you got your pen and paper ready? Are you writing this stuff down? Are you taking notes? Are you being a good student? So funny, sometimes in these readings I feel like I'm teaching class, but I should stop and write down everything because I'm the I'm the I'm the teacher's coming through me, but I'm the student. So I guess that's very much the Six of Pentacles, right? The Hero Film card, the Six of Pentacles. I learn just as much as you do, Pisces. And I'm very happy with that. Ah, I am in sync with the flow of life. Look at that. You are. 
you're getting there anyway. It sure feels like it. It feels like uh, you've opened up because something's happened, something's been released, and you just kind of opened up to it, okay? You're just, all of you has opened up to this energy. And now you're open to learning, you're open to seeing, you're open to doing. Your focus is sharpening, okay? Stuff is starting to, like, you know, match up for you. The puzzle pieces, okay? The last few puzzle pieces have been found. You've woken up off that conveyor belt going, hey, where are we going? What's going on here? Okay? That long slumber of what, 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 you know, what am I looking for? What have I been looking for? I haven't used a good tarot in a while, so I'm going to use it. It's a very beautiful deck. I want to play with the big cards today. Tonight. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Come on. I need bigger hands. Okay. Seven of Earth. There's that Seven of Pentacles again. Look at it, you guys. Doing the work. Assessing. Okay. Definitely where we're at. We've been assessing stuff. We've been looking at stuff. They say it's very important. Okay. This assessment card, I feel, is the card of work. This is that strength card. This is that strengthening your your vibe, how you're doing things. This is always making, it's finding the weaknesses and then just making the adjustments as you go so that there's no weak links as you're going. Now we're going into a chain. Now they're showing me a chain with weak links on it. But I prefer that rope, you guys. I really prefer that rope. Yeah. But you have to have patience, patience and perseverance. Okay, you have to, you have to edit. It's all about editing. What you do now will help you. Will, will um, make it more. I want to use the word ease. It will be of more of an ease. And there's that world card we had it this morning. What did we have it with this morning? We had the world card with the assessment card. I can't make. I leave my readings out all day. Yeah, I leave my readings out all day. If you didn't see this morning, these were the two that came out. The seven and the world card. Yep, they came back out again. I had to get up and show you guys. I leave them on different tables because I like to look at them before I come here and read this because I like to just get back into the energy of it. World card. Yeah. These two are quickly, they're, they're linked together because all the work that you're doing here, this is what you're taking into a phase, okay? This is the end of one phase, the beginning of another, and also not just that, it's taking everything that you've learned in the current phase into the new one. So this is about working hard at that, okay? Everything that you do now or everything that you've done before is going to help you where you're going. All that release, all that discovery, all that stuff, you know, where you're going, oh, I was using the wrong soil the entire time and I found the right soil and now the flowers are growing better. Ah, this is like... This is like in your repertoire of experiences. This is things you can add to your resume that you'll have forever. That they don't go away. Was it last week that, said that there was a reading where we were afraid that we're going to lose all this knowledge? You don't. You don't. It's with you forever. It's like you've learned it. That's it. It's with you. It's part of you now. Okay? what we're looking and that's what I'm doing right now I'm focusing focusing on what the spirit really wants to bring through here <laughs> the sun focus on the sun clarity 
The sun is about success and clarity. So the sharp focus that you're putting in, okay, it's going to bring you that clarity, what you need to be looking at, okay? I'm just going to take a quick look before, I know I'm taking, I'm taking a minute, I'm taking a minute, uh, spirit, but I want it, I want to look here at what you can do, because this is a definite herb, okay? Look at that, because I've never heard of this herb, okay? This bra, brami? Brahmi, B-R-A-H-M-I, but I know some of you will know this because I know I have I have watchers from this part. The creeping ground cover grows in wetlands and is native to India, Australia, Europe, Africa, North and South America, and Asia. The leaves are mid-green, small, and oblong, and the plant is dotted with tiny white four or five petal flowers that are uh, mm, actinomorphic. Wow. Okay. So this is for clarity, memory, wisdom, and communication, okay? Knowledge, mental powers. Uh, the planets are Mercury and Saturn. The signs are Aquarius and Capricorn. The elements is air and earth. Beautiful. Well, earth, of course, right? So, and this is, the, they're, they're talking about, uh, yeah, they're talking about a spell. If you guys ever want one, just let me know. If you know of one, write down, write it down. I don't generally do spells on this channel because, you know, a lot of people, they think that's evil. But I like, I don't call them spells. I call them little recipes of happy, okay? I don't ever do bad ones. I do nice ones. So I just like the intention. You know, you use all of these ingredients to bring happiness, joy, and light. So it's never bad. But this is for clarity, okay? It brings you clarity, focus. So clarity, communication, beautiful. I love the sun. I mean, the sun card, beautiful. The five of earth, okay? I am sync with the flow of life. You have the five of earth. The five of earth is the five of pentacles. And it's feeling um, alone. It's feeling excluded and in the cold, okay? But somehow, I don't, I think this is the reverse. It feels like the flip side of being clarity, feeling in the now, focusing, okay? And, yeah, let's get another card for that Five of Earth. What else? Okay. The Tower. And a king of fire. Okay, so this is telling me, yeah, this is telling me that you've taken the lead out of that. You've released this alone. We had this morning the release, the pain. The person was standing among two stones feeling bad. I do believe that with the king of fire, especially the king of fire and a tower together, this is you. You, you got rid of that weak foundation, that weak rope I was talking about this morning. Okay, and in doing that, you kind of got rid of your anxiety and your isolation and your feeling alone, and you put yourself back in the flow and in the sink of life, your own life. Okay, it's important because I find that a lot of these feelings of depression and aloneness is sometimes the reason why um, we suffer so hard alone. Okay, we, we feel so alone. And remember, I said this more, I kept repeating, you're not alone. We're one. Okay, the problem is we always feel like we're alone, and we're really not alone. This is your perception of things. Okay, we could all just sit, I could sit here and say, I'm alone with my video camera, and there's absolutely nobody here. And I feel alone, and I am alone, and there's, you know, I'm alone. But I'm not, I'm never alone. Um, my husband's far away, he's working, but he's with me. I love him, and I sense him, and I can send him love right now. My children are somewhere else in the home, and I can send them love right now. You are out there listening to me, and I can send you love right now. I'm never alone. I'm never alone. There's billions and billions and billions of people on the planet, and we're not alone, okay? And you can find reasons to be alone, 
but we're really not. It's a perception, okay? We're never truly alone. And spiritually, we are never alone, ever, ever. It's just a realm away. As I said, you could fill up your space with people who surround you, guides and people from your past, ancestors that are always with you. But this, this clearing, this busy work of clearing the weak link, okay, the stuff that no longer fits by your hand, okay, because you took the lead, it's going to remove this and it's going to bring you back in sync, okay? All right, let's see this one. The Messenger of Air. Okay, maybe that one should have taken, come out as well with, uh, with these because I feel that a Page of Swords, of course it's the Page of Swords, is always the one who's talking. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right here with it because I feel that this is, this is your perception, okay? But perceptions are so, they feel real when they come in. Okay, so I'm looking, at, I just finally looked up at my camera and I realized that this is driving me nuts. Everything is over here, I gotta move. I have to move, let's move. Here you go, look at that Pisces, you're back in frame. All right, so Messenger of Air, right here. Okay, somebody who's talking your ear off. But they're talking your ear off. Their narrative can be a little bit disconcerting, okay? This is when you're not focusing that you're moving, that you're going somewhere. These are the thoughts that preoccupy you where you're on that conveyor belt. And those thoughts are not great because you're not noticing that you're going to have to get off that conveyor belt and you may trip off and stuff. So just, you know, just be aware of that that you are always in sync with your life. You're always going somewhere. Even when that little pain in the butt, talking in your, talking your ear off, making you feel like, you know, things are bad. Seven of water, that's having a lot of choices. And I'm not surprised at this card. I feel that this recovery, all this work that you've been doing is bringing in a lot of choices, okay? So you're going to have to take that chariot and move forward and go with it, okay? You're going to have to take that focus and really follow it through, okay? I love that. You're going to you're going to you're going to be able to take that and go with it. That's waking up off that conveyor belt and starting to walk along with it that I was talking about this morning. This is knowing what choices you're going to make, and this is just starting to walk along with it because now you have a place to go. You're stop being distracted with all of this gobbledygook that's coming in, and you're just moving. Okay, you're moving in the right direction. Focus, focus on your voyage. Right, page of earth. There it is again, Page of Pentacles. You're busy learning. You're busy being the apprentice. You're busy figuring out where you need to go and what you need to do. It's right here. It is right here, okay? When you put your energy here instead of in this crap here, it is so much better because you're finally moving in the direction that you need to be going. And this is what Spirit is saying, okay? Put your attention here. Don't put your attention in here. In this, in this, take, take charge, get rid of the weak stuff. No, you're not alone. And you know, that voice inside your head, Pisces, that infernal voice, okay? I think, I guess we have to come in here with some kind of challenges, but Pisces, we do have that challenge of, of always making ourselves feel feels so bad. Ugh. Okay, so we have the Eight of Air. Again, I think, I, did it came up this morning? Yes, it did. This is the Eight of Swords. This is blocks, okay, blocking yourself, right? <clears throat> We're past that now. We're past blocking ourselves. And it came out in the same uh, place as the Spirit message this morning. 
persevere through these blocks. This is what they're saying. Nine of fire. Eight of air, nine of fire. Persevere through it. Okay? Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Blocks are there to be unblocked. That's their whole point in life, to be unblocked. They're there to, you know, get past. So that you have your story to tell people of going, well, I remember feeling blocked and I remember persevering and I remember I made it and I'm stronger for it, right? There's that three of fire. That's that launch, okay? Getting past these blocks to launch. It's always about getting past the blocks, okay? Every hero story you hear about, okay, they have something to overcome. This is a hero story, and you'll realize we are the heroes of all our stories. There's, this is as old as time. We come, we have adversity, we overcome it, we succeed, and the wheel starts spinning again, okay? Remember that. Remember the hero thing. I haven't remembered that in a long time. I, 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 I heard that mention a long time ago about the hero thing. We all live through this in our lives, right? And we all have the magic to make it happen. Okay, magician underneath. I haven't seen the magician in a while like that with the magician. He is so knowing. You have the magic to get yourself through it, okay? You always did, Dorothy. You always knew how to get home. Okay, you always knew that you had to, all you had to do is figure out that you had to just simply click your heels three times and say there's no place like home. You always knew that you had it within you, okay? You just had to remember. And I think this is really what they're saying here. You have to remember that you're here on a voyage. You're here to always be moving forward, okay? And the more you learn, the more serendipitous, the more nine is divine is going to start creeping into your light. All you have to do is focus, okay? And get yourself in sync with life, okay? You're always in sync because you're always moving on that conveyor belt, but sometimes you are aware and sometimes you are not. You have to keep assessing, making changes. The world card, taking all of those changes, those wonderful changes that you do with you in that new voyage, okay? You don't lose that knowledge. And that focus, well, it gives you clarity. You get clarity of thought, okay? It makes you get rid of the weak link. It makes you take control of your life. It makes you realize you're not alone and that that stupid little page of swords is always sending you these messages to try to keep you off track. But really, you know you know that they're lying, okay? You know that it's an untruth, okay? It, You will have choices. You'll always have choices to make. It's never going to end. But you're getting to know which choices are the good ones and which ones are probably not the greatest, okay? Don't pick the safe one, but don't pick the crazy one. Find the one that really suits you, okay? And lead that cherish forward and persevere, Always persevere in where you're going and what you're doing. Always, always. This is at the bottom. The page of earth, he's the one who's helping you learn. He's the constant apprentice. He's the one who's always taken in all of that new information. And they always say, if you're alive, you're learning. So keep learning. Keep opening yourself up to new things and learning new things, okay? The Eight of Air, it's telling you that you're going to have to block to overcome. This is Spirit saying, but you will persevere. You will do it. Blocks are always there, okay? Always, always. And in the end, with the Three of Fire, you'll always be launching. You'll always be moving forward because that's the whole point. You overcome, and then you launch, and then you start again, okay? But... You can decide what kind of journeys that you want. And you can decide whether how open and how close you are to learning or how aware you are on that conveyor belt. And you can decide to just move forward, such as the middle card. Take control. Open your eyes and start walking along with that belt, helping it move forward faster. Okay? That's it. That's the extended for today. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I did. Uh, yeah, it's been interesting. It's always interesting. So take control. Move forward. Start walking the conveyor, guys. 
you're going the right direction. You know it. You know it inside yourself. I'm going to add at the end of this that you always have free will. It doesn't matter what anybody says in these readings. You are in control of your life. Whether it's me or anybody else, you do not need to follow anything that anybody is saying here. You need to follow what's in line with your life, okay? And whatever you want to do with your life, you are the master. You are the one in control. You very much are your own king of fire. You lead the way in your own life. So remember that always. I'm sending you lots of love and light and actually I'm sending you lots of lightness of being. I would love that everybody would feel light in their being and feel great and and um, very high energetically and uh, take good care of yourself, okay? Stay safe, Pisces, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye now.